Okay, we have another Newton's Law of Cooling problem. Thermometer is reading 72 degrees, is placed in the refrigerator with the temperature is a constant 38 degrees Fahrenheit. After two minutes, the temperature reads 60 degrees. So part A says, what will it read after seven minutes? Before we answer this question, we have to figure out what the actual formula itself is gonna be that we're gonna use. So we gotta find the K value that's used here. So once again, the formula is this one, big T, mu zero minus big T, E to KT. So here is their general uh, formula for the Newton's Law of Cooling. Let's put in the information that's provided for us. Okay, the temperature is, is reading 72 degrees. That's the initial temperature before cooling. So that's gonna go in here for mu of zero. So I'm gonna put that in right here, 72 degrees. Okay, uh, it's placed in a refrigerator where the temperature is a constant 38 degrees. So I'm gonna put 38 in there for big T. I'm also going to put 38 here as well. That's going to go in two places for big T. That's your temperature of the surrounding atmosphere. After two minutes, okay, so two minutes would be your T val your value for time. And my constant, my decay constant, I don't know in this case because I'm trying to solve for that one. Uh, the temperature reads 60 degrees after two minutes. That's 60. That's going to go in over here on that side. So now we have all of our variables are put in here correctly. Now that we have this, we now need to simplify this. So we're going to simplify inside the parentheses, 60 equals uh, 38, and then it's going to be plus 34e e to 2k, so 72 minus 38 is going to give you 34. And we need to solve for the k value. To do that, again, remember these are not like terms, we want to subtract 38 from both sides of that equation. We're gonna get 22, so 22 equals 34e e to the 2k. And now you wanna divide both sides uh, by the 34. So if we divide both sides by 34 here, then you're gonna get this. You get 0 0.64705, some more decimals, keeps on going there. It's gonna equal e to the 2k. Now, when I take the natural log of both sides, which I'll do next, keep that whole entire decimal in your calculator. Don't round it until the very end. So we're gonna do, we have this, more decimals. Again, this is gonna turn into 2K, natural log of the, of the base there, that E's gonna disappear, and you just get 2K only. Then divide both sides by two, and that's gonna get your value for K. So if you put this whole part into the calculator, you get negative 0.2177, and again, I'm rounding this to specifically the four places I'm doing all the problems in this section. So negative 0.2177, that's your K value. Now, we need to take this, and we have to write the exact formula that we're using for this problem. So we're gonna come back to this one, and I have 38 in here, I have 72, this is also gonna be 38, I have my K value, negative 0.2177, and then I have times T. So the rest of this, again, uh, hopefully you got all that. I'm gonna erase all this. And now we have our exact formula. So we had to do all that, that work first just to get the right formula to use to answer this question here. So now we're gonna uh, simplify this. U of T equals 38 plus 34E negative 0.2177 T. That's the specific formula that we're going to use for part A and we'll also use it for part B as well. We want to find out what it reads after seven minutes. So we want to put seven in for time on both sides. So U of seven is equal to 38 plus 34 E negative 0.2177. I put a seven in there for the time. So now I have all this. What you want to do is, again, multiply the exponent part out first. So u of 7 is going to equal 38 plus 34e. We're going to multiply that. And if you do that, you get 1.5236. And then you're going to put this whole part in your calculator. So again, uh, if you have a calculator where you have to do it separately, I would do the, this e part first, multiply by 34, and then add the 38 to it. But if you check that out in your calculator, you should get about 45 degrees. So if you uh, put that in there around the two places, this is what it's gonna get. So that makes sense because it'll cool. It was 72 when you put it in there. And then uh, after seven minutes, the, the thermometer temperature will drop down to 
about 45 degrees according to Newton's law of cooling. So now we'll take a look at part B. Okay, for part B, how long will it take for the thermometer to read 39 degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, so we're going to use the same uh, function that we used before in part A. So here's our Newton's law of cooling formula that we derived that was specific to the information that was originally provided, uh, the information up here. And so we're, we want to use this now to answer this question. The 39 degrees, that's going to have to go into U of T because they're asking us for how long. They're asking us for a time. So 39 is going to go in here, 38 plus 34E, negative 0.2177T. So we put 38 in there uh, after the equal sign. Next, we want to isolate the E because we want to eventually solve for time, and that's going to answer the whole problem. We're going to subtract 38 from both sides, and you get 1. Uh, and so now that we have this, we need to divide both sides by 34. So if we divide both sides by 34, then we're going to get this. We get 0 0.02941 with some more decimals. Uh, that doesn't go in evenly, but we get about that, that number equals E negative 0.2177T. You need to take the natural log of both sides because you want to cancel out the E there. So natural log 0 0.0241 some more decimals, that's going to equal just the exponent part only, so you're going to get negative 0.2177 there. Uh, once you have this, uh, you're going to divide both sides, so again, just a reminder, you want to keep that whole entire decimal in your calculator. We'll take the natural log of that, and then you're going to hit divide by negative 0.2177. So if you do that, you're going to get your answer for the time, which is going to be 16.2 minutes is what you get. Okay, so we got 16.2 uh, minutes. So let's, let's think about if this makes sense what we did before. Now the previous example said that uh, if, you're, if it was cooling for only seven minutes, that means then it cooled to 45 degrees. So it makes sense that if I have more time, the temperature should be lower than what I had before. So last time I had 45 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes. So now it cools down further because I have more time. So uh, it'll, the temperature now is 39 degrees after 16.2 minutes working with the Newton's Law of Cooling Formula.